In this tutorial, you will learn three steps to take that will lead you to be the best version of yourself. The following steps are Step 1. Do more of what you enjoy. We tend to be our best selves when we are in an environment where we thrive. Take a moment to reflect and write about a time in your life where you felt you were the best version of yourself. What were you doing? Who were the people with you? Now take the time to reflect on how you can recreate that situation. What would you like to do more in your life? When we do things that we enjoy, we are automatically working from an authentic self and automatically align with the best version of ourselves. We will likely feel more joy, at peace, and happy. When you are experiencing these emotions, you are attracting individuals who feel similarly. Doing more of what you like will have the positive impact of surrounding yourself with people who uplift you and appreciate you for who you are. When you operate from a space of authenticity, you are living your best life. Step 2. Nurture your mind, body, and soul. Nurturing yourself could also be perceived as self-care, although self-care often leads us to only think of the physical aspect of our body. Nurturing yourself means that you are respectful and mindful of yourself as a whole. It means that you take the time to rest when your physical body needs it. You take the time to be in the present moment when your mind is working on overdrive. Or you take the time to nourish your soul when you've been misaligned with what brings you joy. It is much easier to be the best version of yourself when you feel rested, at peace, and happy. You can't expect others to take care of you. Only you know when your needs are not being met. Start by practicing self-awareness and recognize when you are out of balance with yourself. By listening to your needs, you are showing self-love. And also, the faster you'll pay attention to your needs, the quicker you will be the best version of yourself. Be careful not to fall in the trap of the victim mindset, where you claim that you are unable to take care of yourself because you have to take care of others. Too many people learn the hard way that if you don't find time to take care of yourself now, you will be forced to take care of your illness later. Nurturing yourself might be counterintuitive, but it is the number one way you can ensure that you'll be there for others. Step 3. Get rid of what doesn't align with your best self. If you want to be the best version of yourself, you need to learn to say no and create boundaries. By distancing yourself from things that don't align with your authentic self, you are saying no to distraction and hindrance to living your best life. Start by acknowledging what things you do simply to please others. What are the activities that you do that doesn't nourish your best self? Are there people that make you feel far from your best self? Once you are aware of those activities and people that no longer match your best self, Start distancing yourself from them or simply stop maintaining the relationship. It doesn't make you a bad person. Saying no to relationships that don't fulfill you is merely showing respect toward your true self. When you start respecting yourself, you put yourself as the priority. Many people believe it is selfish. Meanwhile, when it is done for the right reasons, it serves a bigger purpose. It allows you to have the time, energy, and wellness to be your best self around others. It will enable you to be present for others and in return, uplift them too. When you find the courage to create healthy boundaries in your life, you quickly are rewarded with joy, happiness, and a sense of being the best version of yourself. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.